yes, 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 yes. Good morning, Toronto. The man is here, Mr. Audley Timothy. How are you, sir? I'm fine. I'm cool. I'm cool, cool breeze. It's Glad so to have you here in the cool sir. breeze stratosphere. Man, let me tell you something, man. It's, it's so, so, so great to be around this morning listening to this beautiful music, surrounded by all this beautiful music. It's, 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 it's so great. It's, so you're liking the vibe? I'm, li I'm liking the vibes, <laughs> man. The, the, the mix, the mix. Yes. You know, the variety. Mm -hmm. The variety, the spice of life. Right on. Mean, gee, it's a very good feeling. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But first of all, yeah. I'd like to thank my guests who came in last week, Bassman Ian, yeah. uh, Skanker Roots, yeah. and dub poet Gilbert uh, for giving an eloquent testimony at Radio Regent last week. Right. These gentlemen, they were so fascinated uh, by the vibe, uh, the realness, the, the organic structure we have down here, and they want to come back. So thank you very much uh, for the crew, the mix, who came last week at Radio Regent. Uh, but today we've got Mr. Audley Tim Timothy. And uh, tell us, uh, we're going to talk about the evolution of... Uh, your music, uh, we're going to talk about your spirituality, your mission, uh, <laughs> and vision, and so on and so forth. Well, uh, I started to play it at the age of eight years old. Okay. My great uncle, uh, my great uncle played the violin and the quattro and the guitar, several instruments, and the clarinet. Right. And I played the guitar okay. accompanying him. Mm -hmm. And that's where the, that's where it start, all started. Okay. As I grew up, I started to play with the big bands in the late 50s and the 60s, um, Johnny Gomez, Choi Ming, and wow. my last band before I left through that for Canada was uh, Ray Sylvester. I played with that band wow. for six years. And that is me talking about uh, orchestration music. Right, right. You know, mm -hmm. composed of uh, like uh, two saxes, an alto and a tenor. Okay. Um, a trumpet. Right. A guitar, mm -hmm. most piano and big bass and things like mm -hmm. that. And so we had, we played uh, the 32, uh, 32 bars um, uh, contemporary music. Right on. You know, 16 bars, then you get into the intermediate, and then there's a solo for everybody. Right. And that's where my soloing okay. evolved. Right. You know, because I just didn't play chords only. Okay. I also played uh, solo. You know. Right. So, um, you know, when I left Canada, I came here, and of mm -hmm. course, um, my next musical experience here was in London, Ontario. Okay. We had a, um, a site called the uh, Ashanti. Okay. <laughs> I heard that name. They mixed with some students who were going to school up in, up in Pajo College in, uh -huh. in, in London. All right. I used to play in the York Hotel pub on Friday nights. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they had to close the doors down because people used to... You know, uh, it was just crowded every right. Friday night. You know, right. people used to come from Western University okay. in London, All right. and uh, crowds and uh, jumping on the tables and uh, everybody. The inspector, police, and everybody used to be down there. <laughs> wow! You know, uh, enjoying the music down there, man. Right, right. Now you played some, some heavy weights down there in Trinidad. Yes. In oh yes, oh yes. Um, uh, my first experience with Choi and Ming, um, we, we were about um, 18 years old. All right. We flew to Martinique and mm -hmm. played there for a couple of days. Right. And then um, from to, from Johnny Gomez, I switched to Choi and Ming. Okay. Yeah, you know, and um, we toiled all the uh, country. Right. Yeah, we played on, on the programs too in right. Trinidad, like the, the Sunday Serenade program. That's a program okay. every Sunday. All right. And then the high, uh, high neighbor programs okay. in Trinidad. Mm -hmm. also played, I also played on the road, uh, Carnival, uh, the best. That's the last two years before I left. That was in '65 and '66, okay. I think. Yes. At that time, we had uh, electronics was uh, to that standard. We could play, uh, we could amplify the guitar on the road. Oh, but before okay. that, we, we had uh, we had the the, blue, the, the wind instruments and. Uh, Trumpets and so on, and also the steel band, okay. part of the, the steel orchestra. So then I joined in the last two years. You know, it was uh, it became available to play the guitar on the road. All right, all right. Yeah, so, so um, what? Tell me what's so special about your album, your present album, just released. I've got your t your first two albums. Oh yeah, love it. Well, I played it on the show and everything. Yeah. yeah. The, 
as a musician, now I started to do my own thing. You know, it's a one man thing. You know, uh, yeah. it's, it's cool breeze. This is a one man thing. You know, everything you're hearing there is so played. You, you, you drop in the brass, the bass. Yeah. The first to begin, first to begin, I compose the music. It comes to my head. Right. Through, through two two, met, two methods, okay. either uh, through the chords, uh, feeling through some chords, uh, right. a rhythm, mm -hmm. or it comes the, the melody comes first, and then I find okay. something to, to play it over. Right. Yeah. Um, but my my first album is, uh, was an experiment with trying to use ethnic rhythms. Okay. Ethnic rhythms. When I say ethnic rhythms, rhythms in India, from Africa, from you know. Uh, Europe, uh, Italy, and, right. and um, try to uh, put these. Uh, uh, second album is a, is a sort of continuation. Of volume two is a sort of continuation of this. Okay. Uh, but this present album that mm. you asked me about is uh, right. it's based on the the, 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 the pop music. Right. The, you know, it's, uh, the, the, the pop music, the 80s and 90s and things like that, like, like, um, mm -hmm. so you would observe that um, it has a, a, a different lift. Okay. <laughs> that, was, that was a cool ex cool breeze experience. All right. <laughs> a cool breeze experience. I like that. You know? <laughs> um, 